The SunSafe message over skin cancer could be creating another sort of health problem. Researchers are finding more pregnant women have low levels of vitamin D, which is naturally produced by exposure to sunlight. It's forcing a rethink on taking supplements during pregnancy. More from medical reporter Sophie Scott. Anna Dungan developed gestational diabetes when she was pregnant with baby Maya. You know, I exercised regularly, I ate really healthily, so I was surprised that I tested positive. What she also didn't expect was that she had reduced vitamin D levels. I don't think you can assume that just because you have a healthy lifestyle that your vitamin D levels will be sufficient during pregnancy. Vitamin D is produced in skin after exposure to sunlight. A study from the Garvin Institute found nearly half of the pregnant women in the diabetes clinic were vitamin D deficient. There is an association between vitamin D and diabetes. The worse your vitamin D, the worse your blood sugar levels in pregnancy. Low vitamin D can lead to a range of health problems, including osteoporosis in both the mother and the baby. And it's our adhering to the sun-safe message that's the likely cause. I think it's because we're staying out of the sun more. We're ca very careful not to get sunburnt. We apply sunscreen. We're just careful. Doctors say it's not only pregnant women with low levels. We're finding that a surprisingly large number of people are actually vitamin D insufficient or, real, or even deficient in vitamin D. Researchers say all pregnant women should be tested for vitamin D and given supplements if needed. Sophie Scott, ABC News.